We are just a week away from McDonald's offering all day breakfast. But before you get too hungry, consumer reporter John Mattery shows us some downsides so you don't waste your money. McDonald's is in need of a turnaround, so the fast food chain is hoping to boost sales and make millions of customers happy when it launches all day breakfast. We got a sneak preview. We found a few catches, though, you may not know about. It's so frustrating. You race to McDonald's, glance at Mickey, and oh no, it's 10:33. You're three minutes late. No breakfast for you. But that's about to change with the other Mickey, Mickey D's, about to launch all day breakfast. Yeah. Bill and Jacina Wright were among the first customers to try out breakfast for lunch. It's like a dream come true. Here at one of a handful of test stores already offering it. I love breakfast food. I work in home health, so to be able to get breakfast all day long in between patients and get it for my patients is, is great. Franchise owner Gloria Node has seen a business boost since she got to be a test store. Customers are just so happy now that they can get a hash brown or a hot cakes at lunchtime or even at dinner at 5 or 6 o'clock at night. But some people might end up a bit disappointed because while they have a lot on the menu, there are still some things that you can't get for your midday meal. While you can get egg sandwiches, hotcakes and sausage, and breakfast burritos, the downside is stores will either have muffins or biscuits, but not both, and they won't offer the big breakfast. It's a different process that we use to uh, scramble the eggs. Node says prices will vary by restaurant as always, but will be a bit cheaper than a Big Mac and fries. By the way, the most popular item so far, hash browns. Bottom line for breakfast lovers, no more racing to McDee's by 10.30 a.m. Just realize that all your morning favorites may not be on the all-day menu, so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, NBC 26.